you've seen the hype, but is artificial intelligence copywriting really the future of content creation? Can it actually replace a human being? And is it worth investing your time and your money into an artificial intelligence content generator? And if so, which one? Welcome to ProfitCopilot.com. My name is Mick Meaney, and I have spent the last two months testing all the AI content generators that I can get my hands on. And today I'm going to show you each of them. You'll see the good points of each one, the bad points, their strengths and their weaknesses. So you can make up your own mind about which one is right for you. But if you don't want to watch this entire video just to find out which one I think is the best, then it's really simple. The best one, in my opinion, is conversion.ai. I'm going to cover that in more detail later. And I've also put my affiliate link in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out. But I'm also going to give you some AI options to suit every budget, including some free ones. So you might want to stick around and check those out before you make a decision. OK, let's get real about this. OK, AI copywriting tools will not replace human writers just yet. You see, they tend to work best when you think of them as writing assistants. So they can produce around 80% of the content, but you still need to feed in the other 20%. Now I'm going to show you some examples of the content that I've made with artificial intelligence in one niche where I am an expert, that's digital marketing. And I'm also going to show you content I've made in two other niches where I'm not an expert. In fact, I have very limited knowledge. Let me show you this piece of content that I made. The headline is 11 blogging mistakes that are keeping you from success. Just let me show you the length of this piece of content. In all, there are around 4,000 words and it took me a couple of hours. Now, if you know anything about content creation, a piece of a, a piece of content like this would cost several hundred dollars to produce and many, many days. You're looking at a you know, the, the good part of a week to make something like this. But I did it in a couple of hours. Now, while most of this was generated by the AI, it needed my direction, my constant direction. It's not just like I clicked a button and it produced all this content. It doesn't really work like that. If you want me to create a more in-depth tutorial on how to craft articles using AI, let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and create that for you. But today we're just going to look at the tools available so you know what your options are. Let me show you another piece of content. So this is about wax melts. It's a niche that I really don't have much experience with or knowledge in. And it's all about uh, using wax melts to relax. So what I did, with, obviously I had the AI generate most of this again, about uh, about 80 percent. And I put in the 20. Uh, just to steer it in the right direction. But it brought back some really interesting stats and figures and research that I could link to. So obviously you have to verify and, fa and fact check, excuse me, you have to fact check every piece of data that it produces. So for example, it said that, that this study found that exposure to Bergamot for 15 minutes increased participants, uh, participants feelings of positivity. So that in this instance was an actual uh, study that it mentioned, but I did have to go and double check that. So again, it's a fairly lengthy piece of content. They're not little 500 word articles here. Let me show you another one in a niche where I really don't have much experience. Um, and this is an article for waking up more, uh, waking up productive in the morning. So again, it's brought back information about studies that have been conducted and adding these to your content immediately boosts your credibility because you're referencing science, right? And we all know that science is the answer to most things. So again, it's a fairly lengthy piece of content and the 20% that I put in actually come from a, a business partner who is an expert in this field. Here's a little tip for you. If you, if you want to enter a niche, where you don't have the experience or you don't have the expertise, team up with someone who does. Combine their skills with your marketing knowledge and then you'll get the best of both worlds. So there you go. There's a few pieces of content that I've made using AI. 
So let's start with the first one. This is Copy Smith. And what we're doing is just going through the list in order in which I found these tools. So they're not the best ones. They're not, you know, I'm, I'm just showing you what I found and then allowing you to make up your own mind. So the first one I found was Copy Smith. And it says you can generate endless ideas at the click of a button. Let's take a look at the pricing. So you can save around 15% on the annual plan. Let's take a look at the actual monthly price. So starter, $19 a month, 50 credits, 20 plagiarism checks. Let's take a look at what that actually means, what the credits really mean. Each credit yields five to, ten, uh, five to 20, excuse me, five to 20 outputs, depending on the content type. So let's go ahead and sign up and check it out and see what we can do. Okay, so that was pretty painless. Let's go to new file. So we've got a bunch of different templates here. So let's choose. Let's go with article writing assistant because we really want to write some long form content, don't we? So let's go with that and see what we can do. Let's talk about a topic. Let's give it a topic of affiliate marketing and click generate. So it's going to take up to 10 seconds. Let me just hit pause real quick so you don't have to wait around. So that was pretty quick and easy and it's give us a whole bunch of blog ideas. So let's say they're actually not too bad. So affiliate marketing for beginners, simple guide to making money online. Let's go with that one. Let's select that. And now it's going, it's going to generate more content. Let me pause the video again. So you don't have to wait one and a half minutes for it to generate the content. Oh, it's done it actually really quick. Fantastic. Okay. So blog outline. So we've got three options there. Let's go down a little bit. What is affiliate marketing tips for getting started? I like that. Let's click that one. It's pretty easy to do. It's generated, uh, you know, a little bit of content for us. If we go back, let's go back, uh, save and exit. Whoops. <laughs> it's logged me out. That's not a good sign. Let's go ahead and log back in. This seems a little bit buggy to be honest anyway. So it's generated some content for us and to be honest, I, I would have really expected a little bit more when we're talking about uh, an article writing assistant. Really, it's generated some good ideas, a nice little piece of, of probably an intro uh, blog post, but I don't really feel like it, it's, it's delivered on its promise. Anyway, let's go to the next one that I looked at, which is AIwriter.com. Let's take a look at the pricing options available. So it starts from $19 a month and then for the standard package, $49 a month. Now, what that actually means to you is 40 pieces of content for the 19 bucks a month and then 120 for $49 a month. So let me log in and we shall get cracking with this one. So as soon as you log in, it's a very simple dashboard. Let's give it a title. So let's go again with affiliate marketing, just so everything's pretty fair and then click write article. And I wonder how long it's going to take to generate this. So there we have like, oh, look at that. So it's counting down. Now what I'm going to do is pause the video so you don't have to sit here for almost two minutes listening to me waffle on. Okay, that's done. So now we have a list of your articles here. It, ha it ha actually hasn't shown me the article yet, but it's going to allow me to download it. So we don't want to do that just yet. Let's open in in the workspace. So here we are. It's generated what seems to be a full piece of content. It's also cited sources in there as well for a robot or an AI to produce content with literally two words of direction, which was affiliate marketing. It's done a pretty good job. And what I particularly like about this is the fact that it's cited sources. I think that's quite a valuable uh, contribution to the content, but it's not perfect. For example, well, let's take this section 
for example. So if you want to promote your product or service, there are a few affiliate programs you should consider. There are different types of types, uh, sorry, different kinds of affiliate programs. Now it doesn't go into any detail about those and there are, there's no option to take a deeper dive. So ideally what I'd love to see here is, is a button that says generate more or go deeper or, or produce more content. Unfortunately, we don't have that option in this section. If we go home back here, now we can do rewording and we are still kind of limited on what we can actually produce with AI writer. But with that said, I am quite impressed with its ability to just generate completely brand new articles from very little input. Next up is neural text and let's check out the pricing available. So there's a free option here. So free forever it allows you to generate five content briefs a month. Um, is that a month? I'm not sure actually. So it allows you to generate five content briefs, five keyword tool reports, 50 smart copy runs, 50 smart copy runs. Why is that duplicated anyway? Pricing starts from 50, uh, sorry, $49 a month and you get 60 content briefs, content templates, 100 keyword tool reports, 200 smart copy runs and 1000 keyword cluster credits across seven languages or you can upgrade to unlimited smart copy runs for $39 per seat per month. And then they have these add-ons as well. So because they've got free option, let's go ahead and try it out. So we get this dashboard with a launch pad, keyword tools, content tools, smart copy collaboration, and it looks pretty decent. I have, I have heard some good things about neutral text, sorry, neural text. I keep calling it neutral text, neural text. So let's get cracking. Okay, so this side menu isn't working properly. So this seems a little bit buggy. Let me just refresh the page. Oh, now I have to log in again. Let's try again. No, it's still not allowing me to access the uh, the menu. Let me open this, uh, let me open this up, excuse me. Let me open it up in a new tab. Okay, there we go. And now it looks, oh, there it's working. Okay, so for some reason, a lot of these tools seem to be fairly buggy. I mean, sure, that's that's probably to be expected with new technology. Okay, so we've got keywords, content, smart copy. Let's go, let's do some keyword research. And again, I have to log in again. That's strange. Okay, now I can access the tool. This is so strange. So let's go affiliate marketing, click search. Now I'll be completely straight up with you guys. The last two times that I've tried to use neural text, the site wouldn't load for me. Okay. So we've got keyword uh, data here, monthly searches, competition, uh, cost per click, good stuff. I like that. I'm not sure where they're pulling this data from, but it's handy to have. So let's go to content. Let's see what we can do content we've got projects so I guess we would create a new project let's create a new one let's call it affiliate marketing let's keep the country United States language English create project document name let's say start affiliate marketing and oh it's pulled in some data Looks like it could be pulling from Moz. I might be wrong about that, but my prediction is that this is pulling content, uh, pulling this data from Moz anyway. The bit that we're really interested in here should be questions. So we know what the, what the target audience are asking. So this can help create an outline and then it's got the SERP results. So even though I haven't been able to use this previously, I, I am pretty impressed with this outlines. That's really nice. So we can see how the competition are structuring their content. And yet this looks a little bit messy, but I'm really pleased that it's able to pull back all this data very quickly. Let's go to sources. Look at that. I'm a complete analytics geek. I 
completely geek out on this kind of stuff. But I'm going to limit myself today for the sake of you guys. So I really like that. Um, let's go to a smart copy. Let's see what we can do. Let's, uh, campaigns. Let's create a new campaign. Let's go with affiliate marketing. Create campaign. So that's pretty nice. We've got some categories here. Website tools, email tools. Let's go with blog ideas because this is all about content creation. So let's feed it some stuff here. So blog name. Well, what, what should we call it? Let's say, let's go with affiliate marketing just for the, just for simplicity. Audience, affiliate marketers, description of your blog product. So what we really want to do is, is target entrepreneurs and perhaps even bloggers. So let's say something like we help entrepreneurs to increase revenue through affiliate marketing. Now, the more information you put in here, the better the output. But let's let's just add a little bit more because it's saying 28 more characters needed. So we help entrepreneurs to increase revenue through affiliate marketing, passive income, so their website can become profitable. Let's see what we've got now. So let's generate some ideas. Okay, so that's a pretty good headline. Six ways to make more money with affiliate marketing, how to succeed as an affiliate marketer and make money online. Yeah, some pretty good options there. I'm quite impressed with that. That's a pretty good start. So I'm going to explore a little bit deeper in uh, with neural text, long form editor. OK, let's let's go with long form and see what we can get. So what I'm going to do, actually, is just take a piece of copy from one of my blog posts here. I'm going to copy that, paste it in and then see. Let's say we already have headlines because we kind of looked at that briefly, didn't we? So. Let's let's give it a headline. Let's actually just take my existing headline and see what it can do. Now, it should be noted that the subtitle here is something that I've I've provided, so it hasn't generated that yet. So let's click generate in introduction ideas. OK, so. Some pretty good options there. I'm, I'm quite I'm quite happy with that. Let's go with the first one. Let's select that and now. Let's see if it can kind of finish my thoughts or, or come up with some new ideas for me. So for, first of all, here we have this generated text length. Let's go with medium. So in case it makes a mistake, I don't have to delete too much. So let's just really quickly try this out. Let's say, let's say the first blogging tool that I want to share is answer public that will allow you to search for okay so now we can write or have it write some text for us so let's click that right for me well that's not accurate that's not what uh, answer the public actually is so it's got it wrong there so we'd have to go in and, and edit that ourselves which is okay that's kind of to be expected with these kind of tools. And then it says this allows you to find the perfect answer to a question that you can cite while staying on topic. Well, I, I kind of guess so. So let's give it another go, shall we? This time, let's go with long form content. So we want more content in here. So it's it's already given us this sentence. Let's complete that. I've previously used answer the public to find topics on digital marketing, affiliate marketing, blogging, and let's just say email marketing. Basically, what I'm trying to do is just fill out enough text here for it to generate this button. So let's click right for me. OK, it's give us a bit more content there. So it said I found a lot of ideas by answering questions on how to get more traffic to your blog and how to improve conversions. Another useful tool for blogging is 
Black, uh, Backlinko.com. It's a, an awesome search engine. Is it Backlinko? Uh, for finding affiliates, that, that, that's not accurate. Okay, so what we would have to do is delete all that. And this, in my opinion, maybe I'm reading it wrong, but it doesn't really make that much logical sense. Anyway, that's neural text. It's an option for you. Let's go to the next one. So the next one is called wordtune.com. Let's check out the plans or the pricing. It allows you to get started for free. It's then the premium option starts from nine bucks a month. Sorry, just under 10 bucks a month. It's a pretty good deal if the actual tool works. So let's go ahead and try it out. So as soon as we log in, we have this option to rewrite. We can do casual text, formal text, short and expand. So let's say we want to write some casual. To, oh, let's go with rewrite. So let's take a piece of content here from, from my blog post. Let's grab that and let's let's paste in something here. So now we can rewrite it so we can change, change uh, the tone, but that's only available to premium members. So let's just go rewrite and it's done a pretty good job there. So it's give us a few options. I like that. Do you ever struggle to come up with new content ideas? So I might swap that out. We'll move on to the next sentence. Let's change that. So by going through this process, we can generate something new. However, we do have to feed it quite a lot. But, you know, for 10 bucks a month, it might well be worth it. OK, next up is copy.ai. It claims to make copywriting simple. So let's check out the pricing structure. They do have a free trial. It's going to give you seven days of free access, 100 runs a day. And pricing starts from $35 a month when you pay annually. Let's switch it over to monthly. So $49 a month. What you get for, for that price is two seats a month, unlimited runs, access to all their tools and access to newest features and 24 seven support and a premium community. OK, so let's dive in and start using it. Let's put it to the test. So on the left hand side, check out all this. We've got a massive amount of templates to use. So they they've really thought of everything here from social ads to website copy to emails, social media, content creation, sales copy, writing tools, loads and loads and loads of stuff here. So let's quickly put it to the test. Let's get it to write a blog intro. So let's go with affiliate marketing as the title. So um, let's say 10 ways to start affiliate marketing. And then we give it a short description. Let's think about the title for a second. Hang on. 10 ways to start affiliate marketing. 10 say 10 affiliate marketing. Mm, let's say seven steps to affiliate marketing success. Say a blog post on how to get started with affiliate marketing and making passive income online. And now we have this check box need help targeting a more specific audience let's just leave that as blank for the moment and let's see what it can do without that assistance so let's click create so it's going to take up to 30 seconds to produce a blog intro for us okay so let's give us a few suggestions here some pretty nice intros so affiliate marketing is a popular way a popular way of of an ink excuse me of, of making an income from your home in your spare time. Now, maybe it's just the way I'm reading it, but it doesn't really flow. So in, in affiliate marketing, there are a lot of people who make quick money online. Well, that's not actually true. I don't like that idea of get rich quick. But anyway, I'm sure we will find something along here that we can go with. So let's say, let's say we take that one, make more, adding, adding below. And I'm not entirely sure where it's put that, but if we scroll down, we can see that it really has generated an awful lot of content 
so many ideas for us. I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, let's see if we can actually create a longer piece of content using the free option. Let's see what the bullet point to paragraph does. Okay, so it's got our blog title there, one bullet point. So let's say affiliate marketing is a great way to make passive income. Let's click create. Let's see what it does this time. And it's expanded that into a full paragraph. Nice. Quite impressed with that. That is pretty good. So we've got so many different templates to go with. What I'm really looking for here is a long form editor, because if we have a long form editor, then it, it makes it really easy to create these really long pieces of content, just like I've shown you earlier. So that one could be a pretty serious contender if it had that long form uh, template that I can't find at the moment maybe it's buried there somewhere anyway let's copy AI let's move on to the next one this is right Sonic now right Sonic was probably my my favorite one until I found conversion AI I really haven't had enough coffee today okay so right Sonic it is a pretty decent platform let's go have a look at the pricing so you'll notice that it's got this lifetime offer 60% off. Do you know what? That's been there for months. So I've, I've been using Right Sonic maybe a couple of months ago. I started uh, messing around with it. I was pretty impressed with it. And uh, I was really on, I was really, really on the, the, the verge of um, going for this special deal until I tried conversion.ai. And then as soon as I tried that, it kind of blew everything else out of the water. Anyway, Right Sonic has got a free trial. It's going to give you 10 credits. It allows you to use all these features, quite a few available under the free plan. And then pricing starts from 10 bucks a month when billed yearly. If we switch over to monthly, you'll see the actual price, which is still pretty reasonable. $11.60 a month for that. You're going to get 75 credits. They've got a funny way of, of working credits. So you will use them up very quickly especially if you're creating long form content. So it tells you there exactly what, what you're going to get. But if you want to get unlimited access to uh, to some of the core features, then the pricing starts at $39.60 a month, up to 200 a month for the business plan. So you can compare those options there. Notice that that you don't really get unlimited access to, to the article writer. That's what we really want to use here. It's the article writer. So you get 150 a month for, for that, you know, just under 40 bucks. Whether that's enough for you is, is going to be your call, really. So let's go ahead and sign in and start using it so you can see what the crack is. So as soon as you, you log in, it's going to ask you to create a new project. So let's call this affiliate marketing. So we're keeping everything fair. Let's click create. And now we have loads of templates to choose from. If we go down, you'll see exactly how many we have there. There are quite a few to choose from and they all work pretty well in my experience. So you'll notice that we have the attention, interest, desire and action framework. That is what most copywriters you will use when they start writing their first draft of a, of a piece of content. So it does it for you. It's pretty nice. But this is what we're really interested in. The AI article writer. Now, notice it's going to charge you one to seven credits to get this done. So there is a little bit of maths involved to figure out the actual the actual price. So let's give it a target topic. Let's stick with affiliate marketing and generate some content ideas. Okay, great, it's given us quite a few there. Yeah, good selection. How many has it generated? 10 ideas. So let's go with the first one, the ultimate guide to affiliate marketing, a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. That sounds like it could be a fantastic piece of content. So let's go with that one. And now we feed it an intro 
what I'm actually going to do here is take a piece of content from one of my blog posts. So this is an article that I wrote in December and it's a complete course on how to build an affiliate marketing website. So I'm going to just take the first couple of paragraphs there and then paste them in. Hopefully that will uh, give us enough content to have something generated. Now it's going to generate some outlines. I like that feature. It's pretty handy because when we have content outlines, we know we know the exact structure and how we, we should uh, complete the article. So it's almost like filling in the blanks. So it's done a pretty good job. Five customized outlines. So pretty good stuff. Let's go with the second one here. Selected and let's move to the next step. And now we can edit this if we want to. If we want to make any changes to the content, let's just go write an article. And it's going to take a few seconds to generate that content for us. So it really is taking its time. But notice this, this down here. It says number of credits for a blog post depends on the number of sections you have in your article outline. Every two sections cost one credit. So here, this is going to cost us four credits if my maths is OK. And I'll just pause the video during this process because... It's going to take 30 seconds per section and there's eight sections. So that's good four minutes. And there we go. So that took a few minutes to generate. But check this out. So it really has filled it out and that's quite impressive. So what I, what I would need to do now is go through each section, make sure that it's all accurate, that it's factually correct grammatically and that it actually makes sense to a human being. So this actually leaps out at me in 2011. I turned my entrepreneurial hobby into an overnight millionaire. That doesn't really make grammatical sense in my opinion. Maybe I'm, I'm not up on that. So already there's there's an, an error. That's quite obvious. So I would get rid of that. And um, there's a few other our, uh, issues here <laughs> with that success behind me. I am now the foremost authority on affiliate marketing. That would be quite a massive claim to make. So you do have to go through this with a fine tooth comb and make sure that it, you know, it's not telling porkies and uh, make sure that, that any stats and figures it gives you is actually accurate as well. So that's a pretty good start. And then we can rewrite different sections there as well. Now, what I would really like to see here is the ability to to generate more content on the fly. So if I if I said something like what is affiliate marketing, I would love a button where I could just click it and then it would generate the answer to that question. Unfortunately, we don't seem to have that, but it's done a pretty good job on on the amount of information that I've fed it. So for me personally, this isn't the way to go because it generates too much content automatically and you lose that that personal touch that I think good content should have. I think good content needs your personality in there as well. And we don't seem to be able to do that with this long form editor. No problem. Let's move on to the next one. This one is called niches.com, N-I-C-H-E triple S dot com, niches. So let's check out the uh, pricing. So where are we at pricing? They have a free trial available and then pricing starts from $19 a month for unlimited. That's a really sweet deal. And I know that niches with the triple S is quite a popular uh, one for affiliate marketers. So if, let, let's take a look at the dashboard here. So it can do quite a lot of stuff. So we can do, do a marketing plan, ads, image posts, YouTube stuff, products, loads. I mean, look, look at all this. Pretty impressive stuff, isn't it? Let's go with a blog post. So let's just get writing some, uh, some basic 
content. So let's choose what do we really want it to do. Let's go, let's go with, let's say a blog post intro. So blog or, or company name, well, let's say McMeany blog category, let's say affiliate marketing, or perhaps digital marketing would be better. What is the blog about? So it says, start with we, for example, we explain, okay, we explain how to start an affiliate marketing business. Title of the blog post, let's say seven steps to affiliate marketing business, seven steps to an affiliate marketing business. And then let's go with that and let's see what it brings back. Okay, that was pretty quick. So now the plan is ready to be ready to be viewed. So seven steps to an affiliate marketing business. Affiliate marketing is a great way for small businesses, for small business owners, excuse me, to generate income by promoting products. I like that. That's pretty good. So we might want to use that. We might want to copy that and use it as part of an article. So I like that. Pretty impressed with niches. Do you know what? I'm really tempted to take another deep dive into this. Unfortunately, they don't they don't seem to have that long form editor. I think a long form editor is absolutely essential when it comes to creating blog posts because generating these short little uh, paragraphs like like these, that's fine. That's going to get you started. It's going to break writer's block at the beginning, but really it's not going to allow you to generate a lengthy piece of content quickly. There's a lot of back and forth stuff. Okay, with that said, let's move on to the next content generation AI tool thingy, which is snazzy.ai. Claims to help you get content made in minutes, not weeks. Let's take a look at the pricing because they do have a free option available. So you get five generations per day, limited support, but you do get every content template available. Pricing starts from 25 a month, which is pretty reasonable. That is when it's billed yearly. Let's switch to monthly so we can see, we can see the actual pricing, $49 a month. So now it's bumped it up to in line with uh, some of the other options that we've had a look at. So this is snazzy.ai. You like the look of it, log in and give it a go. So. Again, we've got lots of templates that we can use. Now, what I'm really interested in is uh, the long form article writers. And I'm not sure, I can't remember if this had one available. To keep things fair, let's just go with blog ideas because we've been doing that all along. So let's, let's be consistent with this. Okay, so let's click create. Let's give us a list of blog ideas, blog post ideas, which is fantastic but we can't really do much with these. So we can copy them, we can share them, so we can you know, take them elsewhere off site, but, and, we, and we can save them, but we can't really send them to an editor because if we look over here to the writer, that long form article writer that I, that I really want is only available when you upgrade. So they don't, they don't allow us to try it for free the same way that other tools do. Now, what I recommend you do is if you're playing around with Snazzy and you like the output, which to be fair is pretty decent so far, then it might make sense for you to upgrade to a paid plan to give that article writer a shot. Before we leave Snazzy, let's give it one more go with Content Expander. So let's put in a topic of affiliate marketing. Let's take some copy here from that blog post of mine. Let's paste it in and then click create. So let's see what we've got. I'm optimistic it will generate some decent content. So let's give it a couple of minutes and look at that. That has generated a pretty decent piece of content. I'm really quite impressed with that. Well done, Snazzy. That just might be enough to tempt me to upgrade to the writer version to give that a go. I might sleep on that, but that that's pretty impressive stuff. Very good. So let's move on to the next one, 
which is Quillbot. Now, this doesn't really generate original content. It's more of a rephraser, so it's going to rewrite existing content. Think of it almost like a very smart article spinner. I'm not very keen on article spinners, but with the advent of AI and uh, its ability to, to really get to the core of, of, of our messages, I'm starting to maybe rethink things a little bit, just a little bit, uh, especially when, when it comes to Quillbot, because during my previous tests, I have been quite impressed quite impressed with it. So what we have to do is give it a piece of content. I'm just going to take this content that we've been using so far. I'm going to paste it in and then I am going to ask it to paraphrase. So hopefully it will come back with something pretty decent, something original that we can use in our content. And there we go. So we can change the, the settings on it. And you know what? It's, it's give us a pretty good output already. And yeah, it is quite close to the original, isn't it? So it really has just swapped out a few words. But still, I don't know. Maybe there's a place for, for this. Let me show you the pricing options. Pricing. So we've got free. So you can summarize 5,000 characters. Paraphrase 700 characters. Two, sen two sentences processed at once. Upgrade to premium. How much is premium? So it starts from $14, $15 practically a month. So while it's not a true AI content generator, I do feel that some of my audience would benefit from this, especially if they're just interested in doing things like email marketing and they just want to rephrase their existing content for email or for social media. So I thought I'd include it here too. So let's move on to the next one. This is my favorite tool. It is conversion.ai. They're calling the AI itself Jarvis, which is quite a fun name. And let's go to pricing so you can see the options. It starts from $29 a month. The pro version is $109 a month. However, with the, the starter option, $29, you only get 20,000 words. You will blast through them really quickly. Plus, you don't get access to the long form writer. The long form writer is what we really want. That's what kind of makes the whole thing pop, in my opinion. It's what allows us to create very long pieces of high quality content very quickly. So I'm going to show you my account. Let's log into the dashboard so you can see behind the scenes and you can see it in action. So we've got all these different templates. So we've got frameworks, emails, Website, blog, blah, blah, loads, loads. So if we scroll down, we're going to get all these different um, these different tools that we can use. A lot of them are actually very useful. I'm not sure how they've been made or how they've trained the, the AI, but it just knows what to do. So so let, let's dive into the long form assistant because that's really where, where the most value is. So describe the type of content you want. At this point, we just want to be completely like almost almost super simple. So we can say something like I want to write a blog post about the benefits of affiliate marketing. I like to help bloggers to get started with affiliate marketing and show them all the steps involved in launching their affiliate business. Now, keywords, I'm got, because we haven't added keywords to any of the other uh, tools that we've used, I'm not going to add it to, to conversion.ai in the interest of fair, fairness and balance. Then I'm going to click continue. Are we going to generate our own? Title, shall we let Jarvis do it? Let's see what it can come up with. So previously, I've been pretty impressed with some of the headlines. Let's give us a really good selection here. So how to build an affiliate marketing business, a step-by-step -step guide. That nails it. Let's go with that one. Intro paragraph. Let's generate some something from Jarvis and see what we've got. 
and it's give us three options. So affiliate marketing is one of the most effective ways to make money online. It's also a great way for bloggers to earn money. I, I like that. Let's go with that. And now open editor and it's pasted in that intro paragraph. Now what we can also do is go back and, and uh, cherry pick sentences from each one and create something, something else. Okay, so now we have this long form editor. And listen, if you want me to take a deep dive into conversion.ai, excuse me, conversion.ai, and you want me to create a brand new piece of content from scratch, step by step, which might take, you know, it could take an hour or so, but if you want me to document and film that process, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. So we have this intro piece of content. Now what we can do is click compose and have Jarvis generate some content for us, or we can kind of nudge him in the right direction and guide him. So I've asked him to generate some content. So <laughs> there we are. Step one, determine your niche. That's pretty accurate, right? So do you have your own blog? Do you want to write for other people's blogs? First thing to do is decide what niche or topic you're going to focus on. Focus on. That is a fantastic piece of content. So you'll notice that it hasn't completed the, the sentence here and that's okay because what we can do is feed it a little bit. So just think about a few things that you might be interested in. And now we can, we can compose more. So Jarvis is going to re retrieve more content for us and make more content. So step two, find affiliate marketers. So while this isn't exactly what I would, would have expected. So step two, find affiliate marketers. Well, not really this, this would be more if we were creating products as a vendor looking for affiliate marketers. So maybe it was my problem with, with the, the input I gave it. However, if we have a look at the piece of content itself, it makes absolute sense. So a good trick when you're using Jarvis is to add these hashtags. This tells Jarvis that it's a sub headline. So let's, let's think about the next step. So how would we choose a, let's, let's say, uh, choose a domain name and ask Jarvis to fill in the blanks. So it's brought back a couple of usable sentences there, pretty good stuff. But let me show you another thing that Jarvis can do. This is very, very powerful. Here we have power mode. If we click on that, now we can access all these additional, additional templates. So for example, if I get rid of that for a second, if we go down to my favorite one, which is persuasive bullet points here, we can take, let's say, let's say we can take this piece of content about choosing a domain name, we can paste it in there into product description. We can give it a product name. So let's say choosing a domain name, we can choose the tone of voice. So let's say friendly, and now we can generate AI. So what it's going to do is come up with, come up with some bullet points that match that. So here it's suggesting some, some benefits or reasons why we, we should choose a domain name. So that can be pretty handy. So we can copy this, let's copy that and we can add it to this subheading like that. And you can see that in the space of a couple of minutes, maybe we've generated over 200 words, but this is very important. No matter which tool you choose, you are going to have to be consistent because when you are consistent with this, you can achieve amazing results. Like Matt, he's making millions of dollars online thanks to my training. And if you want to know the secret and you are serious about making money on the internet, then you are going to need more web traffic. So I will give you the secret traffic methods that I never share on YouTube or anywhere else. You can get them all for free when you click on this icon there. Also make sure that you get my six figure strategy here that will show you how to make passive income on the internet. Thank you for watching. Take care.